Hi guys, welcome to Amateur Chemistry. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to make a green flame from scratch, and later in the video, I will explain how it works. So, to make a green flame, you need just two ingredients methanol and boric acid. Both of these are cheap and easy to buy in most countries, but be aware that they are quite toxic and should be handled with care. All you need to do is to just dissolve some boric acid in methanol and then light it on fire. It is really that simple. If you want to make it look cooler, you can turn off the lights and use some unconventional methods of ignition slash distribution of the mixture. Here are some ways that I find the most interesting. If you don't have some of the materials, you can substitute methanol with ethanol and boric acid with a copper salt such as copper sulfate pentahydrate, although the results will be slightly less impressive. Another thing that can produce a green flame is a chemical called trimethyl borate. It is a flammable liquid that produces a clear green flame, but is very expensive and difficult to make. If you guys want to see me make it, write it in the comments. So now that you know how to make a green flame, let's explain how it works. Every molecule has something called an emission spectrum, which means that if the particle receives enough energy, as for example heat, it enters an excited state in which it becomes more energized than normal. The molecule wants to return back to normal energy levels and does so by releasing a photon of light at a frequency equivalent to the amount of energy stored in the excited state. The emission spectrum is unique to each molecule. This property is very useful because it allows us to identify different molecules using a flame test or something called a spectrometer. That is why fire has color and different types of ions in the flame can change it. Of course the temperature also plays an important role and you can observe it in for example a burning candle. Each of its flame layers has a different temperature which gives it a unique color ranging from blue to yellow. So why our flame was green? Well, that's because when certain metal ions are present in a flame, they can give off lots of different colors. Here is a chart that can help you make your own colored flame. You just need to pick your metal ion, then decide which of its salts dissolves in the flammable solvent you wanna use, dissolve it, ignite it, and voila, you got your pretty colored flame. So that's about it when it comes to colored flames. If you like the video, you can like and subscribe, and see you in the next one.